up, gentlemen? So as you know by now, there are certain types of dudes that women find irresistible. But on the flip side, there are other types of dudes that women find totally resistible. Some of these dudes, they've got no idea how repulsive and unattractive they actually are to the Spicy City readers, gentlemen. It's, it's, it's actually pretty funny, unless you are one. But here's how this video is going to work. I'm going to go over the 10 types of dudes that Spicy City readers are like, thanks, but no thanks about. You are going to be like, hmm, does this actually sound like me? If the answer is yes, that means you got to fix it. If you're like, nah, this doesn't sound like me, that is good. And so you can continue to laugh at these dudes behind their back like I do. <laughs> kidding, not kidding. If you're ready, drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, oh, shit's about to get real. So number one is a man-child. A man-child is typically a dude who is over the age of 25, who is very immature, incredibly lacking motivation. Sometimes he's got a job, other times he doesn't. But the reality is that he needs to grow his ass up. You might be a man-child if you've ever thought to yourself, damn, why is my girl always nagging at me to put my dishes in the dishwasher, pick up my clothes, don't pee on the toilet seat. Number two is a phony flexor. The phony flexors, all right? These are dudes that I call the $30,000 millionaires, right? They are always posting pictures or talking about or always like, oh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to do that. Or did you see my new this? When the reality is they are up to their eyeballs in credit card debt. And the problem with dating a phony flexor, right? The girl will be like, oh, damn, you want to go out? You look super sassy, right? And dude's like, yeah, sure. Why don't you pick me up? She's like, pick you up? I thought you just got a Lambo. Hi, girl. That was my friend. I, I was just, I, I was just, I was just kidding, but, but can you pick me up? Number three is what I call wham bam, thank you, Mama Cita. All right, these are dudes that are only concerned about taking care of themselves in the bedroom. They're like, yo, I got mine, so what's the big deal? Treat sex like it's a race to see who finishes first, and they always win. The fourth type of dude that spicy sin readers are gonna be like, I think I'm gonna pass, is an overly emotional guy. Now I know that women are like, I want a guy who's sensitive. They want a guy who's kind of sensitive. They don't want a dude who's always like, oh my God, and always getting upset and always showing their emotion like all over the place. You okay? Are you sure? Do you wanna talk about it? Have I told you the story about me and the kid gentleman here? the deal. You gotta, you gotta get it in check. You gotta get it under control. It is absolutely critical for you to be in touch with your emotions, but being in touch with your emotions doesn't mean you're freaking out and getting hysterical and always crying. Not that there's anything wrong with a dude actually crying from time to time, says the dude who cries from time to time. The fifth type of guy that the spicy shady readers are like, God, no! That's actually, I've seen, I've seen it happen, is what I call the dude who is going to be unhandsome. Unhandsome, because he may have been handsome and super, like, devastatingly good looking when he was young, but because he didn't actually listen to me, listen to me and do what I told him to do, which is use Tiege Hanley starting now, like today, hit the link down below. Do not become unhandsome. The reality is this. It doesn't take 2,700 products to have amazing, handsome, glowing skin that does not have a bunch of oil, a bunch of blackheads, a bunch of wrinkles, a bunch of zits all over the place. You need to wash your face twice a day in the morning and night to remove the oil, the dirt, the grime that builds up. And then every morning, you need to be using a moisturizer to moisturize that super soon to be even more handsome face with an SPF of 20. Coincidentally, that is exactly what you are going to get in the Tej Hanley starter system, gentlemen, you're also gonna get a free Tej Hanley lip balm. This lip balm is the best lip balm out there in the world, period. Do we give you a lip balm? Have you ever thought to yourself, why is that the free item? The reason is because you're gonna need to have your lips like super soft because of all those spicy sandy readers that are gonna be like, come on. Give me some of that. Fact is, gentlemen, if you start using Tej Hanley, not only is your skin going to look amazing, you're going to feel more confident because when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're going to be like, damn, I didn't really think that skincare could make that much of a difference. Gentlemen, it not only is going to make a difference, people are going to notice. Guys, hit the link down below and get started with the Tej Hanley starter system. The cost of this, ready, ready? Fifth. $15 with the free lip balm while supplies last. So you've got to ask yourself, is having amazing skin, kissably soft lips, being handsome, is it worth $15 a month? If the answer is hell yeah, Alpha, hit the link and grab it because we have a limited supply. If the answer is nah, I'm not really feeling it, then congratulations, you are going to be unhandsome. I wish I could go back and start taking better care of my skin when I was like a fetus. Literally. If I would have, I would have looked better than I do now. And I'm 44 years old. You're like, damn, 44, 40, 
Four, yes, the reason why do I look good, I'll tell you. Clean living and Tiege Hanley. Gentlemen, if you are ready to take control of your face and your handsomeness, hit the link down below and get started. The other beautiful thing is that when you're checking out today, guys, you can add any of the additional amazing Tiege Hanley products that we have. Guys, do not wait, take care of it today. Hit that link down below and grab one of the starter systems with the free lip balm while supplies last. Because the truth is, guys, the longer you wait, the less handsome you're becoming. The sixth type of guy that women add absolutely hate is the yo she wants me dude dude <laughs> she totally wants me brenda oh yeah she wants me Janice, i totally totally could have tapped that ass there's nothing worse than a dude that is always talking about all the spicy ass that he could get he should get and oh my god all these spicy senoritas want to get on my junk no they don't the reason you're a douche the seventh type of dude that women do not find attractive is a girly man says a girly man <laughs> i'm kidding i'm i'm technically not a girly man. Well, actually, I can't say that. To some women, I am because I groom myself and I tweeze my eyebrows and make sure I don't look like a savage. When I talk about a girly man, what I'm talking about is a dude who is spending way too much time in the mirror. It takes longer to get ready than she does. Always worried about how he looks and oh my god, is everything perfect, gentlemen? The truth is, if you can't just relax and be like, yo, I'm awesome, whatever, it's a pretty big turnoff. The takeaway is to just be like, yo, I'm awesome, whatever. You want to look good, right? You want to be you want to take care of yourself, but there's a fine line between taking care of yourself and looking a little girly. Says the dude with the earrings. Number eight is a puss. If you don't have a backbone, you never stand up for yourself, you never stand up for your spicy senorita, you let everybody else push you around, take advantage of you, walk all over you, gentlemen. This is absolutely a no-go because they do not want to be with a dude who is a total puss. Gentlemen, do not be a total puss. Number nine, I'm, say I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because I feel like some of you might need to hear this. And that is a cheater. Dude, oh, she, she's never gonna know it's just one time thing. You know, I gotta, I gotta do my thing. She was so spicy, I had to, I, you had to what? You had to cheat on her? Gentlemen, you gotta knock that shit off. Do not cheat on your significant other. I don't care if it's a dude, a spicy senorita, whatever, I don't want you to cheat. There's nothing worse than feeling like you got played for a fool and realizing that you got lied to by somebody that you care about. Gentlemen, do not do that. If you want to go out there and get as frisky and freaky as you want to with as many spicy senoritas as you want, go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. But before you do have that conversation, it's not you, it's me, girl. Peace. <laughs> Actually, don't do it that way. Be a man. Give her a call. Let her know. I'm not into this. And last but certainly not least, the tenth type of dude that a spicy senorita is like, yo, I don't want any part of that because I know that he's going to be a savage. He's also going to have stinky hairy balls, which is a dude who is not subscribed to the Alpha M YouTube channel. You knew it was coming. If you didn't know it was coming, then you definitely are not a subscriber. Ready? Let's do it together. And. Good. You subscribed and then, whoa, that bell, that notification bell, all notifications. Not sometimes, not once in a while, because YouTube will screw you. Studies have shown that dudes that are subscribed to the Alpam YouTube channel are more desirable in the eyes of the sassy, spicy senoritas. There was a study, so don't even, don't even, don't even, which is, which is the study of it? Can you link to it? No, I can't link to it. Take, take my word for it. Subscribe, turn that notification bell on, so that way you don't miss any of my amazing groundbreaking content designed specifically for you.